Uh, the president yesterday in an interview said that he did not believe that former President Trump would be convicted and therefore uh, removed from office, but said he felt like it had to go, the trial had to go on anyway. Could you please explain what he meant by that? Sure. Well, let's put this in context of last night. So last night, the House impeachment managers delivered the articles of impeachment to the Senate with a dramatic walk over, as we, you all carried on television. Uh, and um, you know, the president was referencing the, a fact that he referenced in his statement of just a couple of weeks ago when the House passed uh, the impeachment, the articles of impeachment themselves, which is that now it, of course, will move on to the Senate. As he also said at the time, um, he hopes, and I'll quote him here, the Senate leadership will find a way to deal with their constitutional responsibilities on impeachment while also working on the other urgent business of the nation. He still continues to feel that way. So last night they delivered the articles. The next step, as you all have reported and people watching at home know, is for the Senate to proceed with their trial. Uh, he's going to allow them to move forward at the pace and manner uh, that the leaders in the Senate determine. Uh, and I can promise you that we will leave the vote counting uh, to leaders in the Senate from now on. Last follow-up and then a uh, handoff. Uh, on this, though, why is, why is the President so reluctant to express his personal opinion as to what happens here? We understand he's not in the Senate anymore, mm -hmm. but he is the leader of the Democratic Party. Why won't he say what he believes should happen? Well, the, the President believes that the Senate has the constitutional duty to proceed as they see fit on holding the former president accountable. He spent 36 years in the Senate. He's no longer there. As the president of the United States, he feels his role is to deliver on what he promised for the American people. So that's what he's trying to do every day. Uh, go ahead, Peter. Just a, a little housekeeping as it relates to what's going on in the Senate right now. When is the last time that President Biden spoke to Leader McConnell? Uh, he has spoken with Leader McConnell, as he said. It's spoken with him a couple of times. Uh, but I'm not going to... I, I'm not going to read out specific calls to all of you on, on the pace or number of their phone calls. I guess the question is, this is someone who has always said, the president, that his strong suit is the ability to work with both sides of the aisle, and he criticized the previous administration for not bringing lawmakers here on COVID relief to sit down in the Oval Office. So why not say to Democrats and Republicans, come to the White House right now, let's hash this out, let's get it done? Well, I know that would make for excellent television um, and quite a dramatic moment here at the White House. Uh, but. He is in close touch, as our team is, uh, members of our senior team, as you know, Brian Deese, a number of senior officials here at the White House, speaking with different caucuses in Congress, Republicans, Democrats, people from different wings of different parties about our plans and our commitment to getting the COVID package passed. Um, but uh, our, dis our view is that a lot of those conversations should happen one-on-one, -on -one, should happen in small groups, uh, and that's the most productive way to move this bill forward. Ask if I can. There seemed to be a little bit of disagreement in terms of the way both Dr. Fauci and President Biden viewed herd immunity. And when we get out of this um, pandemic right now, we heard the president yesterday say, I feel confident that by summer we're going to be well on our way towards her herd immunity. Dr. Fauci said that he thought this would likely occur where we were closer to being back to normal by this fall. Just so it's clear for Americans what the administration is promising or telling them, when should we expect that takes place? Well, uh, the president is certainly pushing his team every day uh, to deliver uh, results as quickly as possible. So as part of his comments yesterday, he also talked about his uh, desire to ensure there's greater availability in the spring and certainly his hope uh, that every American will, uh, that more Americans will uh, have access as quickly as possible. Um, but he has also said many times it will take months and months uh, for a broad swath of the population to be vaccinated. Um, and as always, he's guided, as we all are, by scientists and medical experts and certainly uh, Dr. Fauci's guidelines of when we can expect uh, for a broad swath of the population to be vaccinated. For specificity on the vaccine stockpile yesterday, you didn't have a specific number. CDC Director um, Rochelle Walensky didn't as well. What is the stockpile right now? Where do we stand at this moment? Well, the president is going to have more of an update later this afternoon, as I uh, as I um, previewed earlier. Do we, know uh, the answer, I guess? do we now? Do we have our hands around that? Though? Well, certainly there is a. a we monitor updates on a daily basis through Tiberius um, and multiple systems that have available information on vaccine numbers that are distributed to states, uh, what states have received, what they have distributed. Uh, and we've been connecting all the dots to ensure we have a, our best understanding of where the holdups are. And 
Uh, we, of course, have that assessment, but we're continuing to dig in every day on where the whole, where, what the issues are. Why aren't, why isn't the vaccine getting out to states? What is the holdup with vaccinators? Why aren't there more vaccine sites that are getting the, the, the supply they need? But later this afternoon, uh, he'll have more of an update on uh, our uh, additional vaccine uh, supply that we'll make available to states. We heard the president yesterday say that anyone who wanted to get a shot would be able to get one by spring. Um, and that we'll be, we would be well on our way to herd, herd immunity by summer. I'm wondering how we can make those projections and we don't know what the national stockpile is when the CDC director says that supply won't increase until March and when we're still having these enormous distribution problems in the different states. Well, let me first start by saying, as I started the briefing conveying, the president will have more to say on our vaccine supply and also, uh, and also assistance and cooperation uh, that we will be doing with the states later this afternoon. So we'll have an update on that. And as I also noted, we do have a sense. There is uh, Tiberius, my favorite word of the day, uh, a website that has available information on not just the vaccine that is available in states, but what has been distributed. So what I was conveying, and I think what a number of our medical and health experts have been conveying, is that we've been here for now six days. I'll at a certain point stop saying that, but less than a week is not that long a period of time. We are assessing every day where the holes are, where the gaps are, what the holdups are. It's not just supply, it is beyond that. It's also having the number of vaccinators we need, the number of vaccine distribution sites we need. Those are all issues, if you talk to any governor, that they will say are challenges to getting the vaccine in the arms of the American people. And what the president's goal is, is ensuring to, that there's greater availability in the spring. He will push his team. He pushes his team on COVID and updates on it, even when it's a meeting about other issues. This is his focus every single day. Um, and But the fact is, every American is not going to be eligible this spring. Uh, we're going to continue to increase supply. That's part of it. Um, and he has said many, many times it's going to take months and months for a broad swath of the population to be vaccinated. But he would, if he were standing here today, one, he'd be a lot taller than me, but he would say, there are, uh, he will defer to health and medical experts to give their assessments on when we can reach the point of herd immunity.